Hello everyone, welcome to our Azure Learning YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to see how we can migrate on-prem SQL Server database to Azure SQL Server. Okay, so that's what literally today we're gonna see. And so to do the setup, so to achieve this migration, here I have configured this Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, so if you are not comfortable with Microsoft SQL Server, you can use Workbench also, no problem. But here the drawback is I don't have any on-prem DB. So if I'm going to initiate connection, it won't connect because I don't have any VM in offline. So that we can configure it. Okay, so for that, I'm just going to download this SQL Server 22. Okay, so I'll give the download link in the description. So that is the official Microsoft SQL Server download link. So then you need to, uh, if you want to click that link means you need to provide your uh, infos like uh, your mail ID and then your phone number, like you need to fill the basic infos, then you can download this. Mm -hmm. So I'm just downloading this package. Yeah, I, have, I already configured this. So let's install this. So just click this. Yeah, it evaluating the addition. See, here we can pick the respective installation type. Okay, so I'm not going to customize anything in the installation time. So basic configuration is okay. So that we can take the basics and it's the terms and conditions that lies on spot. Um, just accept this and yeah, so in this directory it's going to install okay. Okay, so the rules are running. So it installing the packages. See, and also this SQL Server Studio, which is available on Linux environment as well. It would act like a platform environment. Okay, so now it's installing the recurrent packages. Okay, so we'll wait for a few seconds. See, our installation was done. Okay, so our SQL server got connected. So if you wanted to connect means you can execute the commands here. Okay, sorry, you know, uh, now we connected. So whatever the um, DB command that you wanted to execute means you can do it here itself. And also we can connect in this SSMS. Okay, so if you don't have an SSMS, you can install it. Okay, I'll give you the link for SSMS download page. Okay, that itself we can download it. So now we can connect that SQL server here. That's very simple. Just go and click the DB engine. So this one would redirect the server name because this one is available in our local machine. And let's connect it. That's it. We have connected the DB. Okay. Yeah. See, now this one works. Okay, so new DB. So same like we can create one more DB. New DB one. Okay. Yeah. So I have created two database, new DB, new DB one. So I'm just going to, if you wanted to keep some table means you can create it here, but I'm not going to create table now. Okay, so I'm just literally going to migrate this two DB in my Azure SQL Server. That's what I'm gonna do now. So if you wanted to, uh, you know, do the migration, first you should have the, um, you know what, that SQL Server. So that we can enable now. Okay, so that we can configure now. So first let me go to my Azure portal. 
So here I'm just configuring one resource group. New RG. Mm. So now we can configure the SQL server. Okay, so new RG and my DB1. Okay, so this is my database name. And here they're suggesting your subscription doesn't have access to. Okay, so um, what I'll do, actually I don't have a subscription to create a resource under this region. So I'm just take it like best viewers. Okay, give me a minute. Let me check in Central India. Yeah, so that I had the subscription. Okay, so I'm just changing the resource group. Um, SQL Arch. Okay, so this resource group also going to be in India. And then here we need to tell the authentication mode. Authentication mode, uh, which can be a Microsoft Entra. Okay, Microsoft, sorry, uh, authentication by default, they're suggesting to go with the Microsoft Entra authentication, which, which means Active Directory user login. Uh, if you wanted to enable both the user login and then Active Directory login means we can enable it. But now I'm not going to pick the first two options. So I'm just going to enable only this. Okay, um, looks good. And then networking rules and uh, this one. Okay, SQL Defender, I'm not going to use. Okay. Let's initiate the creation. Yeah. Okay, now it's validating. Okay, so now the deployment process is going on. Generally, SQL Server creation would take more time. For example, five minutes this would take. Okay, so we'll wait for it. Yeah, so DB got created. So our Azure SQL Server got created. So now we can map this to our, sorry, uh, now we can upload our local DB inside of this SQL Server. Okay, so first let me go to here. Um, here we have this option C. We have created two db, new db, and the new db1. Um, so I'm just going to upload this into my Azure SQL Server. Mm, yeah. So just go to next. And here we need to establish the connection. Um, so first of all, what I'll do, let me go and open the um, my db1. So that we can find the endpoint. Um, yeah, so this is the endpoint. Just view here. Mm, yeah, so that one comes. So I'm just giving my SQL Server password, Azure SQL Server password. Yeah. So let's make the connection. Yeah. So. Um, then go to next. See, this is, the, this is the source which we have in our local machine. This is the target which we where we gonna upload our SQL DB. And then environment which is okay. So now we can finish it. Yeah. Now this one would extract schema everything to the Azure SQL database database server. Okay, generally this process would take some time. We'll wait for it. Mm -hmm. This conference will now be recorded. Okay, see that migration process is over. So let's close this. See, just before we have migrated um, the new DB, right? Same like I'm just going to migrate this new DB1 as well. Let's go to here. Same process we need to follow. So that connect. 
and then the password. Just go to next and then we can finish it. Okay, so meantime, we can go and check the Azure portal that our DB got reflected or not. See, that new DB got reflected here that also comes to an online state. Okay, and also you can uh, you can add an, a DBs in Azure portal itself, but just before what we did, we have migrated our local DB into an Azure SQL Server. Okay, once this DB uh, one got migrated means that data also we can find it over this portal. Okay, um, we need to wait for some time. This conference will now be recorded. Okay, um, our second DB also got migrated. So just go and check it, see? That new DB1, new DB got successfully migrated. Okay, so this is the way, guys, to migrate our Microsoft SQL Server. If you are going to migrate a uh, MySQL Server, means some procedures would differ. Okay, so if you need one dedicated session for MySQL Server migration, just give it in the comment session. I'll try to make one video for that. Okay, so that's it, guys, in this video. I'll see you in the next part. Thank you everyone. See you again. Bye.